off and air out. <laughs> Stupid. Look who's here. Wow. It's been a fat minute since you guys have seen this car. With a stock hood, stock headlights, and stock taillights. What's going on? I'm stocky boy, y'all can't tell me, y'all can't, y'all can't tell who I am on the streets no. anymore. No, oh my it's crazy. God. Let's get these wheels off, swap them out, then we'll talk about what's going on with this car, because some people want to know. Some people? <laughs> a lot of people, everybody. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, big things coming? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's pull in your car, I'll pull mine out. Good. You like your new rims, bro? Have you seen them? My new rim? Yeah. Oh my god, they're hideous! <laughs> they're not a Nobias anymore! Oh my god, dude, I pray these fit. Firestones, then. Yeah, we tried to swap Harold's wheels out with Lawrence, another member in the group, but Lawrence has 16-inch uh, rims and they didn't fit on the SI calipers. So Lawrence went ahead and bought some 17-inch rims we found on the marketplace. Fit. Praying these fit, these fit will be able to give the Anovias to to Lawrence, and we'll still have a white Civic with Anovias. So we're, we're actually don't look half bad, actually. We are praying that these fit. I think they're actually these are better than the stock rims I had. Clean, bro. What's the wheel specs? What's the wheel specs? Uh, 17 by uh, what are these? Like <laughs> seven and a half, maybe? Like, yeah, way off. Oh, yeah, that boy I looking be tucked in the wrong places. That boy's gonna look like a base Civic again. So, Lawrence is gonna be the new C yeah, Civic yeah, SI looking. <laughs> He's gonna have these Anobias. We're putting these wheels on his car. All right, go for it. Drop this hoe. Wow, that's actually really good fitment. Oh yeah, it's like actually not, I mean obviously it's like really in there, but yeah. the height was? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. You guys already know this is my spot to film stuff right here. What's happening? Because I don't like bodied cars. Yes, sir. You guys hear that? Harold is leaving us. Guys. No. Harold is fed up with the modifying side of cars. Because you know, with modifying cars, you end up with a lot of problems. problems. Everything yes, you add sir. can cause a problem. So he wants more of like an OEM spec build. So yes. you're aiming for an upgrade as well. Because, yeah, he wants fast. to go fast. Really? And he actually got a promote, or he got a new job. New now. job. And he makes enough money to upgrade platforms to make a, a better faster OEM spec vehicle yes sir what are you aiming for all right so guys he throw up the pictures on screen all right so we're gonna from, from the bottom our least favorite option all right we're gonna go with the STI uh, I'm not messing with Subaru that much and I hear there's a lot of problems with no in general. he's talking about the VA chassis by the way guys the newer one um so I mean it's cool but it's not as fast as some of the other options it's a little more affordable but it's not as exciting interior is a little dull uh, the Recaro seats are cool but the stick is a little too tall for me and it's just not and it's heavy that, that's like the heaviest option out of like that range of vehicles yeah um so aiming for something let me put out the requirement aiming for something 300 plus horsepower stock okay. right. so i don't have to do anything to it and then we're just chilling um and then my third option number three on the list of a loster in um, yeah i like that one that one's not 300 but yes that's the only problem bad parts not 300 it's a three door uh and i think that's the only two okay bad things. what else what else um a volkswagen golf R. oh the whole car is boring uh, it's it's like it's the looks wise to stock is not exciting it's like you see it and you're like oh that's just another gti on the street it's like okay cool but like you know, it I looks mean, it's, more boring it's the, than a GTI. It's the fastest, no. Yes. It's the fastest option <laughs> out of all four of everything, but it's also, uh, it's just not as exciting. And then number one, we've had a little bit of experience with this one. Uh, 
8 Honda Civic Type R. That one I'm very excited Everybody, about, guys. Everybody yeah. likes that option. I they love could, that option. Because they could see me going from this to yeah. that. Because I would have gone to. from an EX to an SI to a Type R. His to. first build was a EX and, you know, we up, upped him to the SI. And before you guys say anything, no, I'm not upset about this at all. Harold actually let me keep most of the money of all the parts that we did buy him for this build because uh, we sold it. Um, and we do have a few parts left over, like the wide body kit and the front bumper and the wraps. So if you guys are in the Jacksville area, let us know. Uh, we can sell that to you guys. But it's not that big of a deal because I just want him to be happy. I don't want him to be stuck with a project car that's just going to take more money out of the pockets <laughs> exactly. over time. That's just, that's kind of ass. And, you know, this car has been through a lot other than what happened um, before me. So he just wants a fresh, clean start. Something, you know, that has power, OEM. And I feel like if you got a Type R, like what mods would you what, what mods would you do to it? Like yeah. you just do wheels? An obvious easy one. I would not start off with rims. You know me, I never start off with rims. Interesting. Ever. I always Taste. stick with stock rims for a while. Yeah. Uh, first we're gonna do a high volume PRL intake, of course, because it sounded that's where I got the idea to do my PRL intake because it was loud and it was like anytime you pass by anybody, it's like, whoa, a type R, and then you hear this, yeah. and it's like, it's like, whoa, you know, the, yeah. like blows you away. Um, and then an exhaust, I don't know my exhaust options yet for a type R, but. If you're trying to keep it OEM plus, just they, intake, cap back. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's it. Yeah, and I'm not going to do a downpipe. No, um, do not. If you're I trying don't to even it. really plan on tuning that much. No. Um, you, you think you're going to go Honda? I mean, if you do, it'll be fine. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But just like a slight base map not even the max amount of boost like just a little tiny bit of something i mean it'd be a while before yeah. doing that but i mean so, it's still yeah th this is this is where um harold's mind has been at for a while i mean we've been talking about this for a couple months yeah, yeah so this is why we haven't done much pro or any progress on the si since it got back actually because we've been talking about it and we figured just use the money that that we spent on those parts, sell them, make some of that money back. He gets some so he can help him get his next car and then I get some back because I'm really broke right now. <laughs> but I think it's time. I really want to see him in a car that he loves. You know, this one has given him a problem all the time. Well, let me add to the list on the, uh, on the options for parts. You have another option? What y'all think about a scat pack, all right? Oh. You know what I mean? What y'all think about a scatty? I mean, it's oh not God. a bad You're option. You're talking to it's a JDM around, audience. I know, but it's around that price point. Okay, well, it's either that or Focus RS. So, I mean, like, you they had better choose. Ford, just in general. The only interior that I like from a Ford is a Maki. That's about it. The Maki was nice. Yeah, we Maki is one. like stupid nice. Huge screen, all that has all the technology, everything. Mustangs are boring to yeah. me. They're fast. I like the look of them too on the exterior. Interior, I can't do a coupe. Yeah. Yeah, see, I stick with sedans. I can't do a coupe. I'm yeah, too tall he for had, that. He needs a it's sedan. Not gonna work. I always have people in my back seat. You know what I mean? Like, he likes hatchbacks too. It's, yeah, yeah, so hatchbacks have plenty of space. You guys, we, he's, he's yeah. been looking for a while. I mean, if you guys come up with any other options, let us know. I think the yeah, main thing he's going to end up on is a Type R. Yeah. As soon as the market starts playing right, man, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's time. It has to be either a sedan or a hatch, and then it has to be fast. That's yep. like, because I know somebody's going to be like, 370s eat now. 400, no. Uh, what else is coming out? Uh, Integra, the new Integra. I thought about an Integra as well. It is a hatchback. But it's the same engine, and I'm not doing that again. No, and it's just not. No, it's not going to be as exciting. It's just not worth it. No, too no weak of an engine for me to even. No, I gotta get me. A, what is it? A K20? C1. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need that. I need go back on my K. K series game. Yeah, because I was I was on the K the first time. You know, it's you're talking about the base model yeah, Civic, bro, with that K it. series. It was there, but yeah, that I mean, junk but, is garbo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was extremely loud too. It was a waste so, of my time. But. So you're still gonna be part of Risen then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, I'm still stopping a sticker on that bit. I'm gonna pull up, pull up to the meets and stuff like that when I have time. Yeah, I'll be in the garage time. and yeah. all that. Well, yeah, yeah with the Type R, most definitely, I'm gonna be a part of Risen. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to. Especially if it's Type R. For the most part, you get a go far then. Tray, but yeah, yeah, but. No, I'm gonna E85 and uh, Catless Dale Pipe and everything's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> on the Type R? No, we'll never. no, I wouldn't. I've run into too many problems. We'll see. You might end up in that loophole. You say this now, but we'll see. I know, and I was thinking about it, but I'm like, I was gonna do, I was gonna do everything for this. I was gonna E85 that home, yeah. like, cause I knew, I knew it would at least give me over 300. But I was like, so you don't want a project car because obviously it just costs more and more money over time. If you get a OEM spec car and you don't do much to it you get to start stacking money saving money and then you can move out 
do everything in life. Get, get everything you know, else, yeah, live yeah. life. He likes to live life. He likes to go to concerts. Yeah. He, yeah, oh, he yeah. said it's called growing up. Yes, sir. Concerts, parties, yeah, I mean, road no. trips. He works He works more than, He works more than any of that. He works the most out of nice. most of us, so. Or two, oh, hold on, I have another option as well. Uh, it's very boring, but a 2.0 T Accord. That would be cool. I drove one for a whole day in Orlando. It's fast. Fast? Okay. Yeah, that bit is torquey. Really? But it was auto. If you could find a six. Yeah, I mean, you can they find do a six, have speed, the six speed too. Then it'd be, I think it'd be nice. But it's also, the, it's also like. The oh, it, that's a sign, bro. It's a sign, bro. Ford Focus ST, bro. That's a Fiesta. Oh, <laughs> ew. Yeah, bro, get a Fiesta. That actually sounds nice for a Fiesta, too. Oh, oh no, I would get a Fiesta as a toy, literally, oh, no. because it's so compact and they're so cheap. I mean, it is turboed. They're they're cool and they're fast, but it, and the lights is like extremely light. So like, it, I but I don't know, I couldn't do it. I but think it's just the interior on those is still. As boring. as some of the audience in our channel is here for this build, I think the most respectful thing would be to see you in a Type R. So let's let's pray our fingers, yeah. boys. Cross our fingers that he pray gets boys. there. Anybody selling a MSRP Type R anywhere? Oh. You know, I mean, hit me. <laughs> they came and like, hey, guys, people can find me. A that was clutch though when yeah. he found one. I yeah. was like, yo, that that's actually crazy. Well, because the market was terrible at the, that time. I was like, how is he going to find him? MSR. I mean, he had to fly. But, he did it. And I actually wouldn't mind. Good job, Cameron. Flying, but. A what? I wouldn't mind flying. Oh. Or taking a road trip. Do a road trip? Like that. That'd be a good title. Not to like stupid far, yeah. like Cali. Like, I'm not doing that. But somewhere like reasonable Washington, D.C. Fair like, enough. What's up there? I don't know, Texas or something. Somewhere I haven't been. Like, that'd be cool. Don't I told you guys, this is the end of the SI. Not a, we're not upset about it because that just means more things are coming. There's no reason for any of you to be upset or mad. I'm sure some of you can be like, I really wanted to see the build. Yeah, we all did. But but it's going to be better for Harold and his time of life right now. This is not the car for you know a little project. It's not the time right now, and I completely understand. Like, not everybody can be a, a YouTuber like me. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. My car, my cars are uh, built on a budget, so don't don't get fooled, boys. So yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Just wanted to give you all a little SI update. Um, I think the video after this is going to be a 350Z video or maybe a BRZ video because I, I want to keep the BRZ videos consistent. But um, this is this car's end. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. He ripped his pants earlier. All right, guys, look. No, right don't look. Let's do it. Um, don't forget. Never stop dreaming. Ew. <laughs> So ugly.